We are Brooke and Gary, and this is our floating home, One Life. Two years ago, we traded the American dream for our dream. We bought a sailboat, quit our office jobs, and sold our stuff. And somehow, we managed to make it to where we are now, the Zapatia Cays in Panama. Hey everyone, we talk about this a lot in our videos, but right here is a prime example. Less than a one minute walk away from where we were just filming Howler Monkeys and Toucans is this giant pile of trash. And we see this throughout our travels. The single use plastics problem is a real issue. And to tackle this, we've teamed up with Epic Water Filters, who makes reusable water bottles with a filter inside. So you never have to buy a single use plastic water bottle again. Go check them out at epicwaterfilters.com and use promo code EPICONELIFE for 20% off your order. Cheers, guys, and hope you enjoy this episode. This morning, we are going to go check out the beach here. It was a little cloudy this morning, but it's nice now, so we're going to go while we have good weather. The Zapatia Cays are a group of two uninhabited islands located in the archipelago of the Bocas del Toro province. So we're on Zapatia Dos, which is the second of the two islands here. And it's really nice. It's a national park, so they have trails built all through the middle of the island and you can walk the beach. And there's lots of tourist boats that run people over here from Bocas town, but it's nice and quiet and it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's super clean here too. And the water is nice and clear. So maybe we'll get a snorkel in later today. <laughs> you need help getting down? Yeah. Okay, one second. The water looked so clear from the beach, but the ocean swell made the visibility a bit murky. So this morning we are going to leave Chaos Zapatillas. It's been absolutely lovely here, but we're ready to head back towards Bocas Town. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we are pulling anchor and we're not sure how far we are gonna get today, but we're gonna try to make it back to Bocas Town. It's about 17 miles from here, so I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll go about 10 or so. We'll see how the wind is. It is glassy flat back here in these mangroves that we're weaving through. And we decided to put the cell, the head cell out. There's five knots of wind and we're only going two knots, but it's cool to sail through these mangroves. It's so, so common here, especially since we don't know where we're going yet. We can take our time. You can pretty much anchor in any of these little spots by these mangroves. So nice out! Ah! If only sailing was always this calm and pleasant. I think Gary's 
like on the phone right now or something. <laughs> Close it, call me back. Are you on the phone? Yeah. <laughs> it's not every day we are able to experience conditions like these, so we were enjoying every minute. How do you feel about the sale today? Pretty peaceful. Probably one of the most peaceful sales we've ever had. We're not there yet though. We just brought in our head sail because we found our anchorage for the night. We're going right in here. Okay. It's gonna be a bit shallow going through this little cut here. We're in 20 feet now and I suspect we'll get to like eight feet it looks like on the chart, but hopefully no shallower than that. We just centered the main, so we're gonna go ahead and motor into the anchorage with our main cell up, and then we'll put it down once we get anchored. Well, we had a really good day when we got anchored. We went for a dinghy ride around these mangroves and it just, there's mangroves for miles. It's pretty cool. But now we're just gonna relax because tomorrow we are headed to Bocas Town. My favorite spot to relax. Hammock, sunset. Show them the sunset. Cute time lapse of sunset. <laughs> Go. We are anchored over here in the mangrove still, and there is zero wind, but luckily we're only about six nautical miles away from Bocas Town. So we're going to fire up the motor and head over that way. It was a quick trip over here. I was actually editing the whole time, so it was a really quick trip for me, but we just dropped the anchor here in Bocas Town. It's a bit busier here than where we were before. So as you guys know, we've been working with Epic Water Filters to help reduce the amount of plastics that make it into our oceans and get thrown into landfills. So we have this idea that we want to do a beach cleanup here in Bocas and Epic was thrilled about that and is going to help us out and sponsor it, but we're going to need some local help <laughs> to figure out what to do with all the trash once we collect it. So we're going to go meet with a guy named Tom who runs Wasteless World <laughs> here in Bocas del Toro and we're going to see if we can figure out a way to partner up with him and make this thing happen. We spent a couple hours with Tom and his team discussing the details of the beach cleanup. Our goal is to have the biggest beach cleanup in Bogus, but you'll have to watch next week's episode to see if we make it happen. We are up bright and early this morning because today we are headed over to Wasteless World to take a look at their recycling center. So this will be the first recycling center in Bocas Town. So we're here now at Wasteless World and we're going to give them a hand recycling some of the glass today. So 
They recycle both glass and plastic here. And today we're gonna to work on the glass. And the first step is to sort by color. So Brooks over here, clear glass, green glass, brown glass. And that way, once they're put through the machine, the recycled glass will be segregated by color if you wanna make different things from different colors. Yeah, so people just drop off their bags and it's supposed to be dropped off clean. Um, but I feel like people do the best that they can, but this one's a little gross. <laughs> Once the glass is clean and dry, it is ready to be tossed into the crusher. The crushed glass is then sold similar to sandbags for use in other things. Next, we sorted plastics, compressed, and baled them. From here, the bales are shipped to Panama City to be recycled. We just finished at the recycling center and I actually learned a lot about plastic and trash today. Um, it was really cool. We got to bale, sort, run the baler, and also the glass shredder. And it just opened up. Well, the grand opening is actually coming up, um, but hopefully the people here of Bocas will take advantage of that wonderful recycling center. Yeah, I just need to get the word out and they're getting more machines in every week to get the recycling center up and running, they plan to produce uh, building materials from the recycled plastic, which will be really cool. Yeah, so check out Wasteless World. And uh, if you feel like donating, they, they're just starting up and they need a lot of supplies and things to keep them going. So we'll drop a link below as to how you can help them out. So yesterday we didn't film anything at all, but we came to a little place called Starfish Beach and it's really cool here. And we spent the day just kind of chilling on the beach yesterday, uh, enjoying the day. But today we're gonna go on a little adventure, a little dinghy adventure and check out the area here. So I'm making breakfast and yeah, excited for a good day. Yeah, we're gonna run out to a little place called Bird Rock and apparently there's a little beach there and lots of lots of wildlife to see. So check it out and then we might do some scouting and see if we can find a scuba dive out by the rocks too. It was a rough dinghy ride out to the rocks, but it was worth the beating when we saw how beautiful they were. wild out here today. There's like huge surge. So everything's just breaking on these rocks. We were hoping that we could scout it for a scuba dive, but it looks too gnarly for that. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. I think it looks fine. On the camera, it probably looks totally benign. <laughs> Well, Gary decided he's gonna go ahead and jump in anyway and check it out. Let's see what's down there. It's too stirred up to really see much. Unable to swim by the rocks, we decided to head back to the beach and hang out with our friends. Later that evening, we went back to the beach to hang with Kaza and Brian. Brian tried to help Gary improve on his slacklining skills. 
It's so difficult. <laughs> which was a fail. And Kaz and I tried to make a fire, which was also a fail. But that's okay, because we still enjoyed this peaceful sunset with amazing company. What you wanna do? Good morning. We've spent the last few days here at Starfish Beach, but it's time for us to head back to town. We've got some things that we want to do there and we need to restock on some groceries. So there's no wind this morning, so it's going to be about an hour motor back to town. But it's a beautiful morning. It's glassy flat, so we'll run the water maker while we motor and charge up everything since the alternator will be on and we should be there in about an hour and a half or so. Sometimes when we're on anchor, we take our helm off to make a little more room in the cockpit. So we probably need that reattached before we go anywhere. cloudy day here but we got a message yesterday from our friends Bo and Brandy asking us to go look at a boat they found here in Bocas. So we're gonna head over to the marina and meet with the manager and take a look at the boat that they found. Um, we like to look at boats anyway so it should be fun and who knows it's a project boat but Gary likes projects so it might be something we're interested in as well. No, we're keeping one mind. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we love our girl. She takes good care of us. We arrived at the marina to see this Tayana 42, which was advertised as a project boat. The boat was listed for 15,000 US dollars. Oh, well, that's really nice. The boat is in much worse shape than we expected it to be, but we decided to take a look around anyway. And that's probably less than 10 years old. Does it not come with the helm? No helm. <laughs> Watch your step. What do you think? I don't think they could really give this boat away. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is not what an engine room should look like. Probably the most valuable thing on the whole boat is the wind vane. Might be the only thing of value on the boat. I think we're gonna sail over to a little bay called Kusapin, which is about 20 miles east of here. I don't think there's much wind today, but we're gonna hoist the main and hopefully we'll be able to motor sail or sail a little bit of it. It's a cloudy day. We just got done motoring through the mangroves. Brooke's not feeling so well, so she's just down below taking a nap. 
and I just pulled out the head sail as we're heading out of the crawl channel K and it's pretty nice it's only about six knots of wind but we're moving along at four knots and it's nice and flat so no complaints we'll see if we can make it all the way over to Cusipin today if not we'll stop over at Zapatia's K for tonight not much bashing into waves or any exciting sailing footage here just uh just nice and steady moving All right, we are anchored back in Zapatillas case. The tourist boats are just leaving and then we'll have the whole place to ourselves. Morning, we thought we would just start your day off with dolphins. There's supposed to be a beach and the cell was nice. We saw some dolphins, but it was pretty short. It only took us like two hours and there was like zero wind. So we put our cells out and then brought them back in. <laughs> so we weren't going anywhere, but anyway, let's go check out the town. We followed the sidewalk in the village across the peninsula to the beach, where we met up with our friends. The children were very intrigued by our drone, and they helped Gary get these great shots of our friend Max out in the surf. Okay, that's it for now. We hope you enjoyed this episode of our complete circle exploring the archipelago of Bocas del Toro. Join us in our next video as we head back to Bocas Town to pick up some trash and welcome our next visitors. Cheers everyone, thanks for watching.